Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. Because part of your belief system, the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth is the power to set you free. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 16, NASDAQ up 72, S&P's up 9, gold contract up $2.20, trading at 1786 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $22.44 an ounce, late sweet crude up 37 cents, $72.42 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year trading down four ticks right now at 130.06. The 30 off a full point plus six ticks at 160.23. Now we have the 10-year uh, is yielding 1.51 right now. And King Dollar, folks, King Dollar is down 471 ticks trading at 95.897. Euro is 113. Yen is at 113 and a half. And the British pound is at 132 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're going to go after these highs, folks, and we have a contraction of volume. Setting up. I guess it looks like it's setting up for Friday, man. I mean, we're already at Wednesday. You know, you're up 78 cents in the, the SPY. You've got a monster contraction of volume, which would make... It would make sense that the market takes a rest anyway because of the two days you had. My take is this is a counter trend bear bounce in a market that wants lower price, in a market that the bottom line wants to come down to consolidate and come into this uh, October 4th low. So the October 4th low on the SPY is 426. We're at 468. I suspect first, though, guess what? It wants to go test those highs. We're at 468.95. Yesterday, the SPY got into the lows of the high. You're into it again. Bottom line, once you, once you get into it, just, it hasn't, dug, excuse me, it hasn't dug deep into it yet, okay? It's only into it by a buck 55. But, you know, the, the bar itself is, uh, let's see, so the bar's, uh, the bar's only four bucks. So once you're a buck 55, you go to the top of that bar. And the X100, the three Qs, same type of setup inside the three Qs. The difference with the three Qs, I don't think it's going to hit the highs. The three Qs probably will go for the lows of the highs, which is that 400 and, what is that, 408? No. Well, oh, that's interesting. Man, just 399.19. And we hit 399.35 today. Okay. This will be interesting to, to see what the Qs do. because So the Qs got into the lows of the high. And yeah, there's not really not a rejection. We haven't done anything in the queues. It's been sideways all day. Outside of the fact that the contraction of volume is absolutely huge. There's, there's no doubt. You know, right now what we've done is 31 million shares. We'll end up doing 40, 45 million maybe. We did 56 yesterday, which, which is light volume in a monster way. The highs had 61, which is light volume. Gold, gold contract, building costs for higher price. Gold out here. Uh, sideways move out here today. You went to a low of 1780, high of 1794. You're trading out at 1786. You've done, uh, you're up $2.20. You've done just over 100,000 contracts. You know, I suspect we're going to not only go higher, but it wants to go after the 1825 area, which is the top of the consolidation that I suspect that's in also. And good old King Dollar. So King Dollar, bottom line, down 473 ticks. Uh, you know, the, your lowest swing, your first swing point is 95.517. So that's, uh, you know, with 360, 300 and, no, 380 points from where we are right now. I suspect that will get hit. But what I'm thinking is that this thing is actually going to go back to its breakout area. And we'll see how that hangs out. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's take a look at them inside this market. So you have Apple. Apple. <laughs> look at Apple. Apple's, Apple's leading the charge, man. You get Apple up three dollars and fifteen cents. You got Carnival up a buck. We got AMC up a buck forty-seven. Uh, Norwegian Cruises up a buck sixty-two. Stitch Fix getting smoked. That's down five sixty-six. That's down twenty percent. Uh, Snap is up three fifty. 
inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Putting points into the Dow out, Dow out here, you get Apple putting 20 positive points, United Health 18, Disney 16, taken away from it. Home Depot minus 39, Honeywell minus 13, and Microsoft minus 13. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. DocuSign's up 10%, Peloton's up 9.8%. Uh, Biogen is up 3.4, taken away from it. NXPI, NXPI down 4.5%. <clears throat> you get Kraft Heinz up 3.3. You get Trip.com down 2.4. And you get Costco down 2.4. So let's go to Costco and take a look at Costco. I believe Costco is coming out with the numbers after the close. Uh, no, they're coming out with their numbers after the close tomorrow, December 9th. So Costco, the lows 307, the highs 560. You're trading 528. You have, they're going to be looking to take 49 billion to the uh, top line, 262 to the bottom line. They're still growing by, look at that, they're growing by 4% in the world. That's, that's pretty cool, man. That is no doubt cool. Um, we take a look at Costco, and you know, this, someone, <laughs> it's like, almost like someone knows something. This is like going to be an ABC structure down. This is going to be dangerous, actually, because you made a high out here with uh, 1.2 million shares. You come off the high with 2.2, you accelerate further down with 1.3, and you're doing 550 today. And you went to a higher high and gave it up on price. Yeah, this looks like it wants lower price. So this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, baby actually shakes out because of the fact uh, that the way that this is trading, you know, I mean, you know, in six months, it's gone from... Uh, what is that? Oh, my God. That's three. In six months, it went up 180 points. It went from 380 to 560. It's come off slightly. Bottom line, we'll see where this baby's going to shake out. But uh, needless to say, uh, Stitch Fix, they, they come out with numbers, and those numbers just weren't there. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We got a man, Joe, from Boston. We're going to be uh, talking stocks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 19. NASDAQ's up 74. S&P's up 9. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>